Malaysia's defense minister and acting transportation minister is once again justifying his country's response to this crisis in part two of an exclusive interview. Hishamuddin Hussein speaks with CCTV's James Chow in Kuala Lumpur. He says he's appointed a Malaysian Chinese politician as a special envoy to help smooth communications with relatives of the Chinese passengers. Chiu Mei Fan, I know her personally. Um, honest, hardworking, decent, has a good heart. Um, I suggested her to the to the cabinet, and all of them uh, uh, agreed. If that inquiry, if that international panel does indeed find gaps of credibility, will you hold those people accountable? And how far could that accountability travel? Of course, but uh, like I said, if it means that corroborated evidence, verified, uh, verified information by uh, competent, intelligent uh, um, agencies from around the world um, has made what we decided uh, become a reality at that particular, any particular point in time, and we, we still went wrong, I will find all of them accountable not just the Malaysian, but the experts. We understand also that Malaysian officials have spoken directly to the families, saying yeah. that there is a, a sealed pack of evidence that they can't make public. Why have you chosen, or why has your government chosen not to make that public, and what is inside that pack? The, the reason why we cannot do that is basically, at the end of the day, we are going to be answerable to international inquiries and part of this information might be used um, for uh, ongoing investigation. In seeking the truth, yes. is there a timetable which you can at least establish, a framework that at least you can work with not only the wider public, but of course, more importantly, with the families themselves? I was under the impression that the families didn't want me to talk about the black box, to talk about deep sea surveillance. But from the families themselves also, they have asked me about technology, uh, how do we do retrieve the black box after 30 days, how are we going to retrieve the black box now, talking about technology, about looking at uh, satellite images. So basically, there is that dilemma where the family is hoping against hope and not wanting to accept that, which I can appreciate. Do you think, since you brought it up, that by sending text messages in English, do you think that MAS has put you in a very, very difficult position? No, I think MAS, MAS MAS, have got to uh, face up to their own responsibility. That has nothing to do with uh, the job that I have to do or the responsibility of the Malaysian government. But just putting mass uh, uh, on the uh, um, uh, witness stand, um, we also need to bear in mind what is the role and the responsibility of uh, Rolls-Royce, of Boeing, of all these experts, uh, agencies. Where is their voice? Because at the end of the day, it's very easy to target people. I'm not defending mass. They will have to answer to their, about their SMS and the way they translate things and how they engage with the families. But at the same time, I want to see the international agencies also stand out there because we pay millions of dollars to buy the aeroplanes, fly the engines, pay for their expertise. And now, those technology is being questioned by the world.